Welcome to The Divine in All, Selections from the Hymns of Orpheus, Part 2 of 2 and Words of Wisdom. Orpheus was an ancient spiritual master who was born in southern Bulgaria and is believed to have been the son of the Thracian king Eagros. After his beloved wife Eurydice died in a tragic accident, he devoted his life to spiritual understanding. His spiritual teachings focus on the belief that human souls are divine and immortal, and once these divine souls come down to earth, they become trapped in the circle of successive rebirths. Utmost importance is thus placed on our actions on earth, with the venerated ancient master being a compassionate vegetarian who taught his followers that refraining from animal people flesh was an essential element for the salvation of humans. Orphism became a religious and spiritual movement that was very prominent in ancient Greece. Many esteemed philosophers were greatly influenced by the teachings, including Pythagoras, Plato, and Empedocles. The enlightened Greek philosopher Plato wrote about the impact the vegetarian diet had on the Orphics, or followers of Orphism, in his book Laws. Men abstained from flesh on the grounds that it was impious to eat it, or to stain the altars of the gods with blood. It was a kind of Orphic life, as it was called, that was led by those of our kind who were alive at that time, taking freely of all things that had not life, but abstaining from all that had life. In addition to being a spiritual master, Orpheus was also a legendary musician and poet. One of his most famous works is the Hymns of Orpheus, where spiritual teachings are set in poetic form. Let us continue with excerpts from the Hymns of Orpheus. To the Earth O Goddess, Earth, of gods and men the source, endued with fertile, all-destroying force, all parent, bounding, whose prolific powers produce a store of beauteous fruits and flowers, all various made, the eternal world's strong base, immortal, blessed, crowned with every grace, from whose wide womb, as an endless root, fruits many formed, mature and grateful shoot, deep-bosomed, blessed, pleased with grassy plains, sweet to the smell and prolific rains. O flowery daemon, center of the world, around thy orb the beauteous stars are hurled, with rapid whirl, eternal and divine, whose frames with matchless skill and wisdom shine. Come, blessed Goddess, listen to my prayer, and make increase of fruits thy constant care. With fertile seasons in thy train, draw near, and with propitious mind, thy suppliant hear. To Pan, God of the Wild I call strong Pan the substance of the whole, ethereal, marine, earthly, general soul, immortal fire, for all the world is thine, and oral parts of thee, O power divine. Come, blessed Pan, whom rural hounds delight, come, leaping, agile, wandering, starry light. The hours and seasons wait thy high command, and round thy throne in graceful order stand. Goat-footed, horned Pan, Passionate power from whom the world began, Whose various parts by thee inspired Combine in endless dance and melody divine. In thee a refuge from our fears we find, Those fears peculiar to the humankind. The sportive nymphs thy every step attend, And all thy works fulfill their destined end. O oh, all-producing power, much-famed divine, The world's great ruler, rich increase is thine, All-fertile, 
heavenly splendor pure, in fruits rejoicing and in caves obscure. By thee the earth, wide-bosomed, deep and long, stands on a basis permanent and strong. The unwearied waters of the rolling sea, profoundly spreading, yield to thy decree. Old ocean, too, reveres thy high command, whose liquid arms begeared the solid land. The spacious air, whose nutrimental fire and vivid blasts the heat of life inspire. The ledger frame of fire, whose sparkling eye shines on the summit of the azure sky. Submit alike to thee, whole general sway, all parts of matter, various forms obey. All nature's change through thy protecting care, and all humankind thy liberal bounties share. For these, wherever dispersed through boundless space, still find thy providence support their race. Come, blessed power, draw near, passionate pun, thy humble suppliant here, propitious to these holy rites attend, and grant my life may meet a prosperous end. Drive panic fury too, wherever found, from humankind to earth's remotest bound. To Justice The piercing eye of justice bright I sing, placed by the throne of heaven's almighty King, perceiving thence with vision unconfined the life and conduct of the humankind. To thee revenge and punishment belong, chastising every deed unjust and wrong, whose power alone these seminars can join, and from the equality of truth combine, for all the ill persuasion can inspire. When urging bad designs with counsel dire, it is thine alone to punish with the rays of lawless passions and incentives base. For thou art ever to the good inclined, and hostile to the man of evil mind. Come, all propitious, and thy suppliant hear, when fate's predestined final hour draws near. To Equity O oh, blessed equity, humankind's delight, the eternal friend of conduct just and right, abundant, venerable, honored need, to judgments pure, dispensing constant aid, a stable conscience and an upright mind, for men unjust by thee are undermined, whose souls perverse thy bondage never desire, but more untamed decline thy scourges dire. Harmonious, friendly power, averse to strife, in peace rejoicing and a stable life, lovely, loquacious, of a gentle mind, hating access to equal deeds inclined, wisdom and virtue of whatever degree receive their proper bound alone in thee. Here, goddess equity, the deeds destroy of evil men, which human life annoy, that all may yield to thee of mortal birth, whether supported by the fruits of earth, or in a kindly fertile bosom found, or in the depths of marine jove profound. To Law The holy King of gods and men I call, Celestial Law, the righteous seal of all, the seal which stands whatever the earth contains, nature's firm basis and the liquid plains, stable and starry of harmonious frame, preserving laws eternally the same. Thy all-composing power in heaven appears, connects its frame and props the starry spheres, and shakes weak envy with tremendous sound, tossed by thy arm in giddy worlds around. It is thine, the life of mortals, to defend and crown existence with a blessed end. For thy command and the loan of all that lives, order and rule to every dwelling gives. Ever observant of the upright mind and of just actions, the companion kind, foe to the lawless with avenging ire, 
there are steps involving in destruction dire. Come, bless abundant power, whom all revere, by all desired, with favor in mind, draw near. Give me through life on thee to fix my fight, and never forsake the equal paths of right. For more information, please visit sacred-texts.com. A vegan diet keeps consumer dollars out of the marketplace that supports factory farming, which I believe to be evil. Steph Davis, vegan. Gracious viewers, it was a pleasure that you could join us today. 